Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning coding at version 3, REST API development. This is our part 6. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about post API method to save our data. In the last video, we had seen about get API method where we had seen that how we have made our query to get all the data what we have inside this table called tbl underscore students. So if I back to editor, now this is our class file called student.php and inside this file in the last video we had used called index underscore get where we had made a model inside this model we had defined a method called get students and by the help of this method actually we had read all the data what we have inside our table. Now inside this video we are going to use called index under underscore post. Now inside this we will pass some data inside body and after getting all the data from the body section we will read and save inside our database table. In the playlist of API development in code PHP, we had seen that how can we pass our parameters inside body and receive inside any of the method of any one class. Now let's say that we are going to read the parameters and we will pass those parameters inside our body. So let's say that data equal to now we are going to use called JSON decode and inside this we are going to use called file gate contains these are the two php functions like json decode and file gate contains now inside this we are going to read all the data for this api via body section so let's php and input now inside body what are the parameters we have to pass if i back to table go to structure click on structure now we have to pass called name email mobile number course and the status so these are the values actually we have to pass while calling that api so back to editor now let's say that firstly we need to collect the name value so let's say data or if i something right it's set so let's say it's set data and it has a name parameter so let's say if it has some value so this is the value otherwise there is no value so if I copy and paste five times for all the parameters so in the next we are going to read about the email address so email writing email here copy that pasting it here now the next parameter we have to read called the mobile number so this is for the mobile so let's say mobile this is mobile and this is all about mobile finally we have a column called course so this is course so if i copy pasting it here and finally we have a status so as we know that if we leave blank for this status column then automatically default value will be picked so we have passed the default value of this status column equal to one so if we don't pass this value so if i get rid of that then it automatically save the status value of one with each record now get rid of that now let's say that firstly i'm going to check that if it's not empty so let's say name means name have a value and let's again i'm going to check for the empty let's email should have a value again same for let's say not empty mobile number should have a value and finally for the course so let's say logical and not empty and finally let's say for the course now after checking that we are just checking here that all value should be needed so if i make a single line comment so all values are available and let's say just I'm going to declare else block it means that we have some let's say that empty field so simply we have some empty field so inside this we have to pass some error so we are going to use the same response method so let's say this response and inside this as we know that we have to pass some parameters so the first parameter is the output response so let's say that we are going to pass an array and finally in the next let's rest controller 
and inside this we are just going to use if I open rest controller and find about HTTP code something for 404 so scroll down and this is HTTP not found so copy and I am going to pasting it here now inside this simply we have passed status equal to 0 and message let's say all fills are needed now we have done about the else block now just move to if block inside this block we have all the data so I'm going to make a student variable this is a type of array and inside this simply let's say name equal to name for email we have the key called let's say email and it's for mobile time so let's say mobile and finally let's say for the course and we have called the course variable and finally we are going to pass this array variable inside this student model where we will create a method to insert our data inside our table so firstly go inside this model and let's create a method so let's say that public function let's say insert underscore let's say simply call student and inside this we are going to pass our data and it is a type of an array and simply we are going to insert our data so let's return this db this is the db instance because we have loaded our database here and inside this db we have a method called insert and the first parameter we have to pass inside this insert method as the table name so this is our name copy that pasting it here and in the second parameter we have to pass our data so simply copy this variable and pasting it here so finally we have inserted inside this table and return that value it means true or false so back to controllers before that if I copy the method name let's say that if let's say this something we have a student model inside this we have our insert method and we are just checking inside this if else block copy this variable name and pasting it here now inside this if block simply I am to write let's say this response and the first parameter it should be an array and in the second let's rest controller and we have something for the status so let's say HTTP and if I go to rest controller and search for the OK status means something for 200 and we have called HTTP underscore OK so copy that variable and pasting it here now inside this array let's say status equal to 1 let's say message equal to let's say student has been and let's say created so successfully we have done that so if I again copy pasting it here now let's say that this time we have some internal server error so simply I'm going to write let's say failed to create a student and inside this I'm to return about the 500 internal server error so if I find about the constant name so for the 500 we have HTTP internal server error so copy this variable name and pasting it here so all we have done now we have created a method and by the help of in text post we are going to insert our data inside tb underscore students table so if I back to postman and copy this URL open a new tab pasting it here and we have to change only instead of get method we have to change about post method and the method name index automatically get called and this is for our request type so back to postman and if I click on send button without any parameters now here we have 404 and this is all fields are needed so back to body and before that go to headers and let's say content type and it should be something application and JSON because we are going to pass our body parameters inside this raw section so firstly we need to pass our name 
solicitat anuj and for the email solis email anuj at gmail dot com and let's say for mobile number it should be something dummy value and finally we are going to pass our course so let's say that inside this course I'm to pass let's say MBA now these all parameters we have passed successfully inside this body so if I press now send button so a student has been created back to our table click on browse ignore all this is my PHMI admin error and as we can see that successfully we have created our fifth number record inside this table now let's say that if we get rid of this value now let's say for the course click on send button now all fields are needed obviously because we have made a restriction that we have to pass all the fields inside these body parameters so this is the video guys where we had seen that how can we insert our data inside our table by making use of our post request type so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.